In conventional optical communication systems, on-off keying is used as a modulation format. In this format, a digital symbol 1 or 0 is transmitted by using on or off as an optical signal. In the latest optical communication systems, however, phase shift keying is used. In this modulation format, a digital signal is transmitted by using a phase of the optical signal. A constellation diagram is commonly used to visualize phases of the optical signal. It represents the amplitude of the optical signal by magnitude of vector and its phase by the angle from the x-axis. As shown here, 1 and 0 correspond to phases 0 degrees and 180 degrees in the BPSK. The QPSK, meanwhile, uses phase differences of 90 degrees. Used here is four phase values in one optical symbol, which enables us to double the amount of information as compared to a BPSK. The 16 QAM controls both phase and amplitude, enabling transmission of four times the amount of information compared with a BPSK. More information can be transmitted by using more phases and amplitudes in one optical signal. Here, however, a problem arises. The optical signal is gradually attenuated as the transmission distance increases, and optical amplifiers are needed to compensate the signal loss. In this amplification using conventional optical amplifiers, noise from the optical amplifiers broadens the distribution of the optical signal. As a result, decision of a signal becomes difficult. To solve this problem, NTT Photonics Laboratories is developing a new type of optical amplifier. This is a phase-sensitive optical amplifier using PPLN waveguides. PPLN stands for Periodically Pole Lithium Niobate. This is a nonlinear optical crystal that we have researched for a long time. Now, an innovative optical amplifier has been realized by our original fabrication and modularization techniques. Inside this module, an optical signal and pump light propagate together through a PPLN waveguide. If the pump and the signal are in in-phase condition, the optical signal is amplified. On the other hand, if they are quadrature phase condition, the optical signal is attenuated. This is the mechanism of phase-sensitive optical amplification. When amplifying an attenuated optical signal by using conventional optical amplifiers, the amplifiers add unavoidable excess noise which broadens the distribution of the optical signal. In contrast, a phase-sensitive optical amplifier using PPLN does not generate excess noise in principle. This amplifier also has a phase-squeezing property, which helps to reduce the distribution of the optical signal. Furthermore, when we use gain saturation, which is a limit of the amplifying level of an optical signal, it can suppress amplitude fluctuation, resulting in reduction of the distribution of the optical signal. Thus, this optical amplifier can simultaneously amplify and regenerate the optical signal. We demonstrated a multi-span transmission experiment using this phase-sensitive optical amplifier for the first time. A maximum transmission distance of 5,460 kilometers was achieved under BPSK. Amazing, isn't it? Because this is twice as long as the maximum distance of conventional optical amplifiers. Now, the world's top performing PPLN waveguide technology is available to contribute to the further evolution of optical communication.